Hey guys, Missy here with Out of the World Designs. I'm going to show you our wood projects. So we have these new wood rounds that we are making customer requests and they're super easy to do. I've painted one here. As you can see, this is the large one with the holes through it because you add a ribbon around it. I've painted it and um, I have not painted the back side yet, <laughs> but I have painted the front side. You don't have to paint the back side, but I'm going to just because these will normally go on a door or a wall or something. Um, this one is 16 inches and I will show you how to assemble this once it dries. The paint is still fairly wet. Um, also, here is our little rounds. These are the four inch size. And these are good for ornaments or um, the car hangers. And then right here, you have the um, seven inch size. These are good for wreaths or just small spaces in your house that you just wanna add an accent, a kid's room maybe, your room. Um, we have the whole alphabet, one through Z. And if you're doing any kind of craft show or anything like that, I suggest you pick up a couple of the alphabets and um, stain them or paint them for your craft show because these are great little um, items. Could you imagine putting this on a Christmas tree? It is so cute. Or even um, putting it on a gift bag when you're giving your gift this Christmas. You just put it on a gift bag and they have this cute wood stained ornament, okay? So I'm gonna show you real fast how easy it is to stain one of these. Staining is my absolutely favorite thing to do with this kind of wood. It's super fast and easy, and you could have an alphabet done in no time. Um, this stain I picked up is just um, this stain from Lowe's. You can get any stain from Lowe's. The reason I picked up this is because, look y'all, it was a dollar. Somebody had returned it, it wasn't the color they wanted, and it cost me a dollar. So go in your craft section of your Lowe's or your Home Depot or wherever and see what they have there for you because you can get a really good price. Now I recommend staining with a sponge brush. I could not find mine, so I'm just using a paper towel. And you can use a paper towel, but a sponge brush is much better. Um, and there is super, super easy to do if you've never stained. Grab you some gloves and um, go outdoors like we are here. Just dip it just a bit in the stain and then just rub it on, rub it on your ornament or your four inch and just rub it on there. And if you can see, you're watching this video, so if you can see how super fast it is and effective it is to stain that. And look how beautiful it is. And I did that so super fast. And if you want, you can go around the edges, but it is a wood look. Whoops. It is a wood look around the edge, so you don't have to. Um, but if you want to, just do like this. These are super cheap and inexpensive on the website. So um, you could do a set for a show or your booth in no time. So that's how easy it is. And of course, if you want it a darker stain, you can either get a darker color or you can do more coats. I have one here that I've already done that has dried a little. So um, I'm gonna put another coat on it. The more coats you put, the um, more little darker it gets. I mean, of course, it's gonna stay the color it needs to stay but um, a couple extra coats will make it a little darker if you want it darker. If you don't want it darker, then you don't have to have it darker. But there you go. So easy, so simple, and such a cute gift, okay? And I mean, you can put it in, like I said, on a car rear mirror. You can put it um, on a gift bag. You can um, get put it on a doorknob, a Christmas tree. There's like so many awesome things that you can do with these little circles. And we have all of the alphabet and we have it in the 16 inch size with the holes and without the holes. The holes are for ribbon and I'm gonna show you guys how to do one of those um, once this dries. So we have it with the holes, without the holes and we have it 16 inch size, four inch size, and seven inch size. 
We can do other sizes if needed. Um, I just need to know the size you guys need. If there is another size, I can do a 12 or a 10 inch. Um, we could do 11 inch. So I just need to know the sizes and I can get them loaded um, if we need another size. But I will hold this up again just for you guys to see. I know you're probably seeing other stuff in the background, but we are outside. So um, when this is good and dry, I will come back and assemble it and show you guys how to do everything. Um, the paint that I used for that is just a sample paint that you can get at your Lowe's or your Home Depot. And I just have a sample and I've used it a few times for some other things. So I just wanted to throw on a pretty color, a pretty bright color. Also, once it's done, if you want to give it a clear finish, here is a really good clear finish. I've used this a lot, as you can tell, it's an older bottle. And it's just a clear matte finish, or you can get a clear glossy finish. It just protects it, it's fast drying. And um, it, you can put them on all of them, or just one of them, it doesn't matter. And that's just another option if you'd like to do. But if you have any questions, please let us know. I just wanted to show you guys how easy and simple it is, um, and the things that I used. So if you have any questions, please let us know. And you can find all of our um, wood products on our website, outoftheworlddesigns.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.